we may be willing to fill the shoes of Peter and Paul as they wrought miracle, miracles after miracles. But are we so dedicated to working the works of God that we would be willing to be stoned, beaten, imprisoned, or martyred for the kingdom of God? They, they, they did that. Yes. Dying to self, total surrender, crucifying fleshly desires, paying the price, are all these really necessary? Yes, these are all vital elements which will determine the extent of your useful, usefulness in the kingdom of God. We must do away with the, the flesh. We must die daily. We must walk in the spirit daily so that we will not fulfill the lust of the flesh. We must daily commit ourselves and surrender ourselves to the Lord Jesus Christ. It's a daily walk, friends, my friends. It's a daily walk. It's a daily walk. It's not a walk that we walk just on Sunday and that's it. It's not a walk that we just pick up our word on Sunday and all the rest of the week we're too busy to read God's word. We're too busy to to pray. We're too busy to seek God. If you're too busy, you're really, really too busy. Suppose God was busy, too busy when you needed him. Sometime the only time we call upon the Lord is when we're in trouble and we really need him. And he's there. He's there. But he wants us to call upon him every day and say, Lord, I give myself totally to you. I surrender myself, body, soul, and spirit. We can all talk a good talk, but can we walk a good walk? We can all talk a good talk and say, God bless you. I love you. You're going to make it. If God is for you, who can be against you? No weapon formed against you shall prosper. We can all talk a good talk. But all during the week, are we walking that walk? Not only at church we can say, God bless you. But at home, we can say, God bless you. On the job, we can say, God bless you. In the community, we can say, God bless you. And really mean it from our heart. How can bitter and sweet water come out of the same fountain? Amen. It cannot. Amen. Praise God. Praise God. So for us to be useful in the kingdom of God, we got to lay aside, it says in Hebrews 12 and 1, all those weights and, yes, and sins and, and that so easily beset us and, and run this race with patience, looking unto Jesus Christ, the author and finisher of our faith. Amen. We got a, a lot of hindrances and stumbling boxes and blocks and a lot of bound, a bond, a bondages that are uh, uh, holding us back from being everything that God would have us to be. Because sometimes when somebody tells us to do something, we don't want to do it because we say, uh, they don't know what they're talking about. But we need to listen. Listen. I'm not saying that everybody come up to you that they uh, 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 is from God. I'm not saying that. We, we have to know how to discern. But we need to still listen, not get an attitude. Because it could be, God can even use a, 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 a bum or a homeless person out on the street to speak to us. God can use whomever he want to use. Praise God. So we, we need to not only walk this walk, but we need to, to I mean talk it, but we need to walk it. Amen. We need to be the vessel yes. that God is, is coming back yes. after. We need to be the church, one of the churches. We're not the only church. Yes. There's plenty of other churches that are, are, are uh, they have not bowed their knee to Baal. 
It's plenty of other Christians that love God. Amen. But sometimes if a person is not uh, of this church, or I'm um, praise God we're not like that, hopefully anyway, that, uh, uh, you know, of another church, or they're not Pentecostal, we, we turn up our nose at them. Uh -huh. But if they love Jesus and have accepted Jesus Christ as their personal Savior, and they're preaching the unadulterated word of God, we're to love them. They're our brothers and sisters. Amen. They're our brothers and sisters. Yes, if they're not of our same culture or of our upbringing, we're to love everybody. Yeah. I'm not only to love Americans because I was born and raised in America. Praise God. We're to love everybody. everybody. There's no big eyes and little U's in God's kingdom. Sure, we like to hang around with people of our culture. There's nothing wrong with that. But still yet, we must be sensitive to others as well. Praise God. We got to love everybody. Because I do, I do not like, maybe I like everything. Just bring it on. I had a Jamaican, Haiti, Haitian food, or any kind. Because we were in the military and then we went on the mission field for five years. We had all different types of cultures just like we have here. And they'd bring the food and we'd eat it and we'd, we'd bless it and pray over it and, and, and eat it. and Oh, it sure is good. So I eat anything. Bring it. Some people snarl up their nose. At, 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 at food, different types of food, you're not to do that. We have to try different things. My brothers and sisters, I, I know it's not easy for us to do that. I guess I'm, Pastor and I, I guess God had a calling on our life and that he put that within us. We do not have any problem in eating different types of food and associating with different types of people or, and different cultures. Mm -hmm. God is not coming back after a certain race. No, no, no. We all gonna be in, in heaven Human praising race. God together. Human race. Human Praise race. God. We are all gonna be in heaven. Yeah. Um. Praise God. So we must totally surrender ourselves to the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. I'm coming up to the end. Praise God, my conclusion. We need to re-examine our motives and objectives. We need to re-examine them. Amen. It's nothing wrong. I re-examine myself sometimes. I say, Lord, you know, am I obeying you? Am I doing what you've called me to do? Lord, am I being kind to that person? We have to examine. We have to examine ourselves. And our motives, the reason why yeah. that we're doing it. Yeah. We have to. We have to. We have to ask the Lord each and every day, Lord, help me to be a kind person. Lord, help me to be a gentle person. Lord, help me not to be an angry person. Lord, help me to, to, to be a person that that people can see Christ through me. Amen. Lord, help me to not always think that I'm in charge Amen. and everybody should run when I speak. That's right. You know, some people are like that. Amen. If they're up and they're speaking, well, it's okay. You know, that's all right because I'm speaking. I'm it. You know, I'm, I'm, I'm it. I'm the man. I'm the woman of the hour. That stuff is, is worldly stuff. That stuff is worldly stuff. Just like God uses me, he can use you. And he is using you. 